Monday, he's evil, but he's our evil. Dr. Frank Luntz is over here. Doctor. <laughs> doctor. Great that. to see you, Doctor. Four years. <laughs> Now, Frank, are you really a doctor? Yes, I have a DPhil from Oxford University. Really? And I, I actually have one. This is, really, you're not like Reverend Al Sharpton. You're, you're actually a, a doctor. Okay, uh, all right. It was, I... Uh, and you're wearing high top sneakers of different colors. Yes. Frank, you're too old for that. You're just, <laughs> that's just not a good look. The Could I do some polling on those shoes? The difference. They suck, okay? Those shoes are really bad, Frank. Would anyone like them? Yeah, well, don't, don't take them anyone off. Anyone like yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. So, Frank, let's... <laughs> I need these. I actually, I need these. It's, these are... Two. These are tough times. Are they not? Yeah, what do you mean? I don't get it. These... If I can't... I look down at these and I realize that it looks like I'm colorblind, basically. But I need this. I need to, this to get through the day. I don't know what our, you're talking about, Frank. Our <laughs> politics... And more importantly, I don't care. Let's talk, let's talk about, let's talk about what you're, you know, you're the expert. You're the guy who knows what's going on. I saw all week, it is now tied, Trump and Hillary, 40-40. Explain this to me. How an insane racist in orange grease paint <laughs> can be tied with the former first lady, uh, <laughs> <laughs> valedictorian at Wesley and uh, Secretary of State, New York Senator, 40-40. What is going on here, and who's the other 20? The, 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 the challenge for her, quite frankly, is she's not authentic, she's not straightforward. Bernie Sanders said what he meant, meant what he said. Bernie Sanders should have been the Democratic nominee, not Hillary Clinton. Well, I, you know what? And, and Bill, Frankly, Bernie Sanders should have run as a third-party candidate. That's, that's... And the reason why is that he has a clearly defined set of principles, he has a clearly defined set of ideas, and that Hillary Clinton is a corporate Democrat, and you would have had three distinctly different philosophies, Well, and why not? Okay, because he would lose, for sure. You know, no third-party candidate has a chance in this country. Both you, don't think that Mike, you don't think uh, Mike Bloomberg could have won? No, of course not. Why not? He was a great mayor of New York. He was he, not a great mayor. He was a great mayor. He was very successful Whatever. in New York. Okay. <laughs> but, but he, no, no, th come on, Frank. You're telling me a third party can't come. Here's the point. 40% of the people, the Republicans, are voting for Donald Trump, which shows you they will vote for anyone, anything with an R by the name. And they would vote for Jared from Subway. And 40%. <laughs> And 40% are voting for Hillary Clinton, yeah, but you know who the FBI director said oh, stop it. had engaged in, in nearly criminal activity. Oh, for, he, he went no, he didn't say that. What he, he, he actually, went, he, what he said, Frank, was that no he, prosecutor would bring charges. He, it's, no, no, no. This, yeah, that's what he said. You have a responsibility, honestly. And he's a Republican. And this is, and this is, and he serves a Democratic president, and he's done it well. And he presented his he doesn't evidence. Serve a Democratic president. What do you he's think the, the attorney general is? Who appointed him? Bill? He's the head of the FBI. Who appointed him? Obama. Right. So he serves a Democratic he president. He serves Look, the I FBI. Realize, I realize that you got the humor. You got the advantage. No, no. But no, the fact is, that pisses why, me off, why are so many Americans so angry? Why are so many Americans so angry? Why are they so frustrated? Because people like you elect Republicans. Why are they pissed off? <laughs> what do you call? That's funny. The last time I looked, Barack Obama wasn't a Republican. Yeah, Barack and they're not Obama mad at him. Twice. He's got a rather high approval rating. His approval rating's 50%. Well, that's higher than Bush's and Reagan's was at this point. Actually, no, that's not true. Ronald Reagan's was at 61% at this point. When he left Obama, office? And Barack Obama's at 50%. Reagan left office at 61 At least get the facts right. I don't remember that, and look, I'm look, not even sure look, it's true. The, the, it, the, <laughs> why are we so divided? Why are we so angry? Why do so many people feel, Democrats, feel that their voice isn't heard, feel that Wall Street doesn't represent them, feel that Washington doesn't represent them? I've been going through the last three or four years. My you and I agree on so much, even though you don't want to admit it, even though it's because it's good for laughing. Maybe. Line. We agree on ISIS. We agree that what happened in Nice is, is disgusting. We agree that we need to fuck up these people who are screwing with Americans right now. We need to defend our military. We should speak up for our men and women in uniform, and that, in the end, this threat against us... Well, I'm not sure I agree the, with everything. By the form... Just... 
you don't agree that, that look, ISIS is a threat? Look, you, know, you don't I, agree I, that we have a problem with national well, security? Of course I agree ISIS is a threat. So, but, so let's do something. Let's not just sit back. Okay, we, cannot, but, we cannot be diplomatic. We actually have to do something. To answer your question why people are so angry, mostly it's because they're ignorant. Now, obviously there are I things... Can't, I can't do that. I think that's wrong. I'm, really? I'm, yes, I'm not going to sit and insult this country. Well, I they're, will. They're, and I always have. Yes, I Because know. it's called real time. I understand that. People but don't know because, what's going on. Just because they Be don't have a degree from Oxford University you know doesn't make Frank, them ignorant. Fifty-five the people who come and sweep up this audience, when they all leave, the people who come and clean up this place have just as much of a right to vote oh, as you and I. Stop it. You don't agree with that. That's right, Frank. I'm against the people who clean up this place. No, but that, those are the... Let's the, bring the straw man out here, shall we? Frank, would you like to the punch people, the straw man? The, the people, people who work the oh, camera Jesus. right there, the, the, your camera person right. sitting right there. Yes. Those as soon are, as the show's over, I take a shit right on them. Those... I, <laughs> because now, that's who I am. I, I shit on the little people. But that's how they feel. And that is no, they I'm, don't. Yes, they do, Bill. You know what, you know what people think? Bill, here's, here's, here's a focus group right here. It's here's not a, how your here's audience a, feels. Here's a polling. Here's some polling. 55% of Republicans think Barack Obama is sympathetic to terrorist groups like and ISIS. And 79% of statistics are made up on the spot. That's not a statistic, that's polling. So you're a pollster, you don't believe that? I don't believe that, no. Really? No, so I don't. So now you're just, you're just saying what you don't want to believe is not true. I, 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 I poll because so many of the polling we get about Obama from Republicans, it's the same thing. They believe he's a Muslim, they believe he's from Kenya, he's not legitimate. Why don't you think 55% of Republicans in the last poll think Obama is sympathetic to ISIS? I mean, for because Christ's sake, that's what Trump says all the time. Because my whole life is spent out with the American people. My whole life is spent focus grouping and polling and, and interacting with them and listening to them. And I'm you're, not a humorist. You're I, getting I, a... I don't tell the jokes, <laughs> but what I do hear... I'm not telling jokes either. But They're... don't you see that these divisions, how serious it is? that we have divisions between 25-year-olds and 55-year-olds. We have divisions in terms of income. Yes. We have divisions in terms of education. And that we should be seeking ways to bring people together. I don't understand why I, I, everything about find, this election well, is about pulling all, people apart. I, I find it amusing that someone who works for Fox News and is a lifelong Republican... I work for is CBS talk, News. As talk... You just you, you've you never CBS News. I said you were on it on Monday. You, yes. you never worked for Fox News? I worked for Fox and CBS. I work... Okay. okay. So, but I'm you're, just saying. Once for, again, you're trying to demonize. Okay. I'm not trying to demonize. That's exactly no, no, what you're no, doing. No, 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 no. You're trying to get a laugh. No, I'm trying to demonize. That's demonizing to say everything I say is not valid because I'm a comedian. So go ahead, do your but do I'm, your attack. It's. How come every time I speak, it's an attack? What I was going to say is, you're talking about bringing the country together? Do you really think the Republican Party are the ones who have been bringing the country together in the last 20 to 30 years? <laughs> you, both sides. you really think Donald Trump, who wants to build a wall and deport 11 million uh, people and a ban on Muslims, you think that is bringing people together? I... I mean, you're a messenger it's, from an odd party to be making this case. It's interesting to me that you have tens of millions of people who've never voted Republican in their life. That these are people who always identify with the Democratic Party because they, they're working class. They don't have much savings, they don't have much income, and they've always voted for every Democrat. This is the first time no, they that haven't. they are voting for... What, for about, Donald what Trump. about Reagan Democrats? 40%. Reagan got 40%. 39 to be specific. Okay, so what, what, what's class. this bullshit about the first this, time? This is the first time that a majority of the working class are actually going to vote Republican. Well, we don't it's know that. It's never happened before. Well, what, what, you're just, there, you know this for a fact? A majority of the working class is going to vote This Republican. is the first time. This is why okay. Trump, because Trump, so you, is, so, all right. Trump is losing upper middle class voters. So you voters. think Trump's going to win? No, I don't. You want him to win? What I want... He said mean things about you. I know that. And you know it? <laughs> so have you. I'm still on your show. I know. But you, who do you, who's going to win? You're the man. If the election is held today, Hillary Clinton would win by three points. And it's not held today. Tell me what the rules are in the debate. If you tell me what the rules are, I tell you who wins. No flinging your poop. <laughs> You're right, Frank. I make jokes sometimes. Well, thank you very much. I wish I had more time. Frank Luntz, everybody.